Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Attention! You filthy earth stink beasts! Prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. Well, well, well. God bless a motherfucking America. America! Love America. Have you missed us, guys? Because we missed you. We All sure five have of you. We have. We have missed you. Yeah. But, you know, I'm going to start something off with saying this for the other one, two, three. Mofos! They don't, they don't like to clock in. We're going to start docking apple slices and caramel drippings. <laughs> Not the caramel dripping, sir. Man, I'll man, take man, a whipping gonna... for my caramel dripping. What type of whooping? We talk ass whooping. We talking about a beat down. We talking about a regular, a regular monkey ass nigga whooping. <laughs> okay, let me break it down for you right quick. Welcome to the Tokyo Black Post Dragon Con episode. Apparently, only three people went to Dragon Con from the show. Apparently. Me, Jermaine, and Dan. Just kidding. Me, Jermaine, and Brandon are the only ones who show up to work. Man. All yes. the time. Yes. And Brandon, hey, look, for this be our um, post podcast, I mean, um, Dragon Con podcast, I want to give a huge apology to the white liaison. For me talking through some of our panels because those niggas was boring me. <laughs> and most of the time when we do panels, they be good, but this time they was slacking. Well, so we're, not gonna, we're, we're, we're not gonna jump right into it. God no, damn, no, 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 no. I'm just giving Don't an apology. I'm just, to the situation. I'm just giving an apology to the white liaison. We, he was well, trying we, to listen and I can was we speaking. Not end the movie? Can we begin the movie? Hi, I'm Thelma. Nigga, you Louise. Brandon, <laughs> I don't want to get out of the world. We're talking all the time. What, what color was the car? Was it red? I think so, yeah. I thought it was pink. Uh, That's why I said Mr. Pink. But it, two female riding around the hot pink car robbing people. That shit sounded sound utterly ridiculous. <laughs> Man, at that time of day, the mother, the bitch would have got number a whole year in jail for doing that. Yeah, you know, that's the most amazing thing in the world. What kind of car did they that have? Was in this... They had a pink Cadillac. Oh, Were they no, black? It, was, it was blue. Oh, we are well, your name blue. is Mr. Blue. God damn it, your name is Mr. Blue. Your name is going to be Mr. Blue. You take it, Mr. Blue. So Brandon and Mr. Blue, I'm Thelma, I'm Louise. I'm Thelma, Jermaine Louise. So we're going to talk about Dragon Con. Ooh, Brandon, can I get a um, clap that we made it a Dragon Con and survived again? Uh, I don't think we got a clap. I don't think I put the clap. I think I had to take the clap off to fit in other shit. <laughs> well, can we get something? Anything, motherfucker. Some noise. Yeah, okay. You cried your ass, cuz. If I was you, I wouldn't dare take no shit like that. But I ain't you, cuz I ain't no bitch, nigga. You got rid of the clap. You got rid of the clap yeah well cricket noises no the cricket noises have been there since day one they've been there as much as the clap has yeah. <laughs> we've only used the cricket noise four times we've used the clap on multiple occasions well we've I'm had a... clapping babies we haven't I'm... had cricket babies that I'm means that we cricket back. do a lot to make the claps work you've got to look at who's going to win this election and maybe you have to swallow a little bit and say, okay, <laughs> I sort of personally like so and so better. But you're. <laughs> hey, Brandon, do me a favor. I need you to mix that up saying you need to swallow a little bit for Joe and come back. I then come back, swallow some, I swallow a little bit for Joe. Break that up for me. I'll see what I can do. It gonna, it, it's just going to take a little chopping and cutting on that second part, but you got this. Yeah, Make us I... sound slutty. I thought I already had, but I don't know. Maybe it didn't save. Anyway. Go ahead. Whatever. We're on the podcast. Go ahead, Jamal. Dragon Con 2019. 
It was another amazing year. Me, Jermaine, and Tanya didn't accomplish shit because we always showed up late because of one person or another person. We had a me? couple of more panels this time this year. Me? But guess what, and Brandon? Me. Guess what, Jermaine? Dragon Con reportedly saying they had 15,000 more people there. So they was at 85,000 people for Dragon Con this year. Hmm. What are these people? Yeah, me and Sawyer were both commenting that it didn't seem as packed as previous years. But I think that's just because they've got it spread out so much now. You know, what I said was I believe people that are in the Western don't leave the Western. Hmm. I think I think we stayed in the Weston one time. We left the Weston. But you actually a walker. But then again, most rich, most rich people probably yeah. stay in the goddamn Weston. Because believe it or not, if you go through your itinerary that the Dragon Con give you from the Dragon Con app, which is amazing, most of the, like the celebrities from TV shows are goddamn in the Weston. I don't want to. I don't want to walk two miles to go to the fucking Weston. I feel you. It is a grip. Yeah, I walked 25 miles in two and a half days. And that boy lost about 6.9 ounce work. Man, my motherfucking dogs were barking. (laughs) Especially Friday. Hey, look, thank God to me. Hey, Brandon, I told you, Ma. Them shoes I had on some Calvin Klein dress. I said, these motherfuckers. Ain't gonna fail me, and my dogs were feeling all right. Saturday, shout out for a couple mm-hmm. of um, cheap penny loafers he had on. That was some Calvin Klein. And so oh, Brandon Calvin did Cleese. not go in costume again. Believe it or not, you know what? We should have a thanks. We're gonna thank Calvin you. Cleese. We're gonna thank somebody on the show. Brandon, yes. Can I thank you? Can I formally thank you for in- introducing us to Dragon Con? I remember six years ago, maybe seven. Brandon, hey, you don't go to Dragon Con? You know, black folk. Dragon Con? What's that type of shit? <laughs> that man, people dress up in a bunch of cool costumes and, you know, just hang out. Catch a couple panels, drink a little beer. This is the same as that conversation. It's amazing that I can remember that. But you tell me your birthday or my child's name that I don't, process, I don't have right now, I'll forget that shit. But... <laughs> Come here, July. Well, Brandon convinced us to go six, seven years ago. We oh. was new. Amateur showed up late. <laughs> Bitch gave, gave me and Jermaine a little lip. You know, dear white girl, whoever gave me that lip, better be glad I was so happy to be cool. Because, bitch, I would have sla- snatched your soul out, what she told me. We go to the counter. God right? damn, Shane Zone. Yeah, I had to snatch that bitch soul out. But we go up to the counter. We happy. I got my costume on. You can tell she been doing this shit so long. She don't give a fuck no more. It's Saturday. She don't even get to see costumes. She get to wait in line for a bunch of motherfuckers who who, who can only afford to go for one day. You know what I mean? So I get up there with my costume on. I'm smiling. That'd be $60. I said, huh? What? It's going to be $60. The green stuff. You know, like money. If you want your badge. It didn't hit me until like later on that day. Like this bitch tried me. Oh. <laughs> like disrespectful. Or like <laughs> it was twenty two years ago. I was spitting her face. <laughs> and possibly took her wallet just for GP. <laughs> you know. This you know, this bitch. So we paid our money and then we went to Dragon Con. We met Brandon. Come how long I know you about what, eight years, Brandon? Somewhere yeah. like that. Yeah, it's been a while now. About, about nine years probably. So thank you for introducing us to Dragon Gun. And then we have a tradition that goes from year to year. But this year, Brandon took off Sunday. He couldn't go Sunday because he had to go to work. Only food working on a Sunday. Go white people. So Brandon, explain how it went on Friday. Now, you went Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? Yeah. So we're going to get down to your Thursday, and then we're going to just work down to me, you, and Jermaine meet up to Saturday. He's going to explain that. But Dragon Con was up 15,000 more people, so there was 85,000 people who showed up for Dragon Con. The whole conversation was like we didn't believe the numbers, if you if you forgotten already, because we kind of go on a rant. But I didn't see 85,000 goddamn people. But, you know, what the hell do I know? 
I don't know. It was pretty crowded up in those hotels, you know, especially during like the peak hours. Uh, man, it was what? I guess it was Saturday after y'all left. Me and Sawyer was walking through that fucking sky bridge from the Hilton to the fucking Marriott, and dude, it was so fucking hot in that thing. It was ridiculous. Motherfuckers oh, didn't want to walk. Oh, it was brutal, man. Brutal. I don't give a fuck what you do. If you never, if you never smelled nerd bo, <laughs> it's almost, almost worse than homeless bo. Yeah, you owe it to yourself to get a little con funk. Yeah. <laughs> we have coined the phrase con funk. So if you haven't listened to this episode and we're long dead and go, we long dead and gone. We own con funk. Well, Brandon does because he said it first. But he's on Tokyo <laughs> Black Hour, so that means me and Jermaine own it. My it's, name. it's 33% across the board. <laughs> 2.5 but we hey, didn't, I, I didn't I, 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 can I say one right? thing about can I say one hey look me and Jamal always dress up every year thank God for, all of us all of us dress up every year and I want to say one thing about people and cosplay with masks on all day rule of thumb bring some gum cause you <laughs> niggas be killing me <laughs> when you take your mask off, and once I see your lips chapped and super <laughs> snow white, I know it's a dragon behind it. It got to be. Got a whole fucking Bowser flame in your mouth. And every time somebody take that mask off, start talking to me, bro, I'm like that, bro. Why? Why even engage this motherfucker? Pull back. This fight like is too hard. Brandon Snippy, you know every time he smells something. <laughs> he made that real ugly face. Ugh. That was classic television. Fuck what in the hell, man? You stink. <laughs> he started pointing that finger up. What the hell? <laughs> we apologize for going uh, old school on you, motherfucker, because y'all don't know what Ren and Stimpy is, but that shit was classic cartoon. All right, you got to hold up a little bit. Cause... Hold up, boy. Goddamn, Brandon was explaining his Thursday. 85 hey. people showed up. I don't believe it, but they have the numbers and the money to prove it. Because next year, they're going to do 100,000 people, and they're just going to pay more to get in. So, Brandon, explain your Friday. Not for me and you, because we pay early. Early, early. Uh, So, yeah, so, you know, I went to work Thursday, got off, uh, went down there, met Sawyer and Heath, and then proceeded to get fucking hammered. Yeah. You know. No, you didn't have, you're not was it MC Hammer? Oh Hammer. yeah, it was MC Hammer for her. I was out there typewritering and the whole nine. You know. God damn it, I, I pay to watch that flick. Man. I pay to watch you do the typewriter for a whole hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> What's Good crazy money. is that now they sell a Thursday pass. Thursday used to be like kind of a free day, you know, because they're when I when I first started going, there wasn't a whole lot of people down there on Thursday. It'd be like the hardcores who came in, you know. Yeah, full day, to, full day outfits. Yeah, and we're getting ready to party and shit. Now it's like a whole extra day that they sell a ticket for. I was flabbergasted. Yeah. There ain't shit to do on Thursday because the celebrities don't come to Friday night. I mean Friday morning. But people just want to be downtown. That's all that is. Yeah, shit, it was a fucking big party on Thursday. Like, there was a lot of motherfuckers out there. They got a couple of fucking uh, events go on and shit. They, we went to the 8-gig uh, ball or whatever. They were playing a bunch of 80s music, had some fucking Rubik's Cubes and shit. I don't know. The place was going crazy. It was pretty off the chain. Yeah. So Thursday, it worth going now. Friday, it's starting to be worth going now. I, I don't know. Thursday is worth going for me, you know, if you can go down there and get like a twenty dollar ticket, you'll get the most of the experience. You know, for you won't get Thursday to buy night. costumes until Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll see a few costumes on Thursday, but yeah, if you're nah, trying to go the ones for the whole... you see on Thursday, you gonna see on Saturday, <laughs> and they gonna be funky. Cause they ain't bring number two and a half costumes. <laughs> I know how you motherfuckers do. 
But you know they ain't got no washes and dryers in them goddamn hotel rooms. They do. But them folk don't spend their life savings to come to Dragon Con. <laughs> goddamn, the cleaning service is not amongst the things they will be buying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, Brandon. Ain't no motherfucking way. Hell, I'm finna goddamn wash the crinkles out of this skirt that's supposed to be balled up like an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucking costume got hero stains on them and shit. That's that's from her hooking up with some dude from Tinder. Oh, can't we forever? Hey, look, Jamal, you coined it. Hero stains. Oh my god. Hey, write that shit down. Cause we're gonna have to do something with hero stains. This is an <laughs> amazing show. We've already given you two terms that are gonna blow the internet up while people steal it. Because like twelve people listen to the episode, but do you realize how like that one person here is shared in a goddamn somebody from corporate America steal the shit because we ain't smart enough to to copyright it off the back. <laughs> goddamn yeah. next week we play the episode, the shit only got six likes, but for next week somebody already stole Con Funk. It's in a new episode or something. You like really dude? <laughs> oh, these, these, these motherfuckers are vicious. They all come out the bro- come after the broke people because we got the hot, the new and the fresh. Think about oh, yeah. it. I can't guarantee you that I coined the term con funk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, if you put it in now, if you put it in the Googles and it don't come up, it's yours. Now Hero Stain, we definitely got that one unlocked unlocked. You know, cause hey, I can guarantee you what? nobody has mentioned the words hero stain. <laughs> <laughs> in the same content. Well, that, man, I, I can promise. That word, so they're gonna girl. So they go people on Thursday. Brandon had a great Thursday. Friday, he was off work. Why yeah. do people get off on Friday? Shit, I ain't never knew such a thing. Knew the such a thing as this. But Brandon, how was your Friday? How did you immerse into the crowd? How did you rip your shirt off like the Incredible Hulk and show them hoes that you wanted to smash? <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't I do any of that. Smash in the police car. Yeah, I woke up. <laughs> was a little hungover so i walked and got some food <laughs> yeah my feet were hurting because i'd walked way more than i thought had had on thursday and i had stretch or anything i thought i'd fucking pulled a groin muscle for a second yeah Brandon. my shit was hurting hey, i picture your you know scene i'm gonna get you sucker yes <laughs> <laughs> yes i have <laughs> it's my bunion <laughs> word it was a lot like that my feet were blistered so you know walk got something to eat i walked around took a bunch of pictures and stuff. You step on my toes. <laughs> he shot I'm off my pinky kid. toe yeah and then finally like around noon 30 ish i think i was like i gotta get a drink we gotta get this motherfucker on a popping so we did and then me and sawyer walked around for a ridiculously long time uh we checked out some panels that ended up pretty hilarious and uh shit friday night i packed it in pretty early i left at like eleven thirty or something by the time we got through walking around that day Man, my motherfucking feet were scorched. I walked like 10 miles that day, and I knew Saturday was going to be just as rough because y'all were going to be down. Everybody was supposed to be there, you know? I was like, all right, bro, I got to pack it in. There ain't no way I'm going to survive Saturday if I <laughs> stay out here. It's only long. it's only a four-mile walk to, and like, that nigga Brandon walked 10. So yeah. that's a lot of walk. It's like a four-mile radius to everything to deal with Dragon Con. Unless you go into like the aquarium or something like that, don't go to the aquarium for Dragon Con. They rip you off. Walk to the from from down there to the aquarium. What a motherfucking feet gonna look like, Scooby Doo? He gonna be mad as hell. Well, I walked through the fucking merch tables. We didn't we didn't even go up there this year. And that took like two hours because I walked by like every fucking table. Oh, I did get that funny ass shirt. Uh. It's got RoboCop on it, and then it says, do you remember the time RoboCop shot that guy in the dick? I do now, and that shit is hilarious. Oh, dude, that was fantastic. Yeah. Check that the Facebook classic page. classic fucking... Yeah. Check the Facebook, the Facebook page. We got plenty of pictures from Dragon Con, so... And then so Saturday... Pop- yeah. Go ahead, Brandon. I was about to say, well, and then Saturday I woke up 
caught a bird down there, which was sweet. Those little scooters are dope. Yeah. You know, especially <laughs> Those after scooters you've been are walking deaf. for fucking 12 hours. Uh, fuck that. I'm going to take my chances. I had my fucking badge flapping behind me and shit. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker flying in the wind. They were gangster. And then I'll let y'all pick it up from Saturday. Well, well our Saturday gonna... always starts with your mom cooking breakfast. No, my Saturday to wake up. I wake up like 10 o'clock like, oh, shit, it's Dragon Con Day. I did that like um, footloose dance in the house. All happy <laughs> and shit. Ready to put on my costume. Me and Tanya Jermaine show up at like 1 o'clock. Y'all ready for Dragon Con? Oh, shit, I thought we were going to be there by 11 a.m. after the parade. See, she's <laughs> on. So, Dragon Con is upon us. Me and Jermaine and Tanya is in the car. We're riding downtown. We have on our costumes. I'll tell you what our costumes are when we get it. We're driving downtown. Just like seven bums on the street. Hobo Americans, I call. I like to call them. <laughs> God damn, but we just got phases. We just got phrases coming in with Hobo Americans. Hey, you missed out on one part. I had to pull them to that family. No, nah, don't tell that story. Keep going. <laughs> she, yeah, yeah. She just put Tanya pulled up in the Dollar Tree. It, it, it didn't get weird. You know, one boy asked her why she was dressed like Dora. Come on, nigga. Dragon gun. <laughs> and, the, and, and the last thing we really wanted to do is for me and Jamal to go in there. Because last time we did that one Dragon Con. We walked into a liquor store, man. Everybody jumped back like, oh, what's wrong with these niggas? Oh, yeah. Are bro. they okay? They not oh, yeah, right we, if in the robbers? We just hit up by a beer, man. Yeah, we dressed in funky-ass costumes. I had on like the whole fucking Deadpool. That when I was uh, Yoda pool, when I was Deadpool and Yoda. Yeah. I had the fake guns. He was probably looking at me and the nigga in his spandex. Like, what? <laughs> the Indian dude jumped back so far I'm out like please don't let this nigga shoot us <laughs> he gonna be the old dick around and yeah. he got plastic filters he would've <laughs> dropped it first from letting that bitch blow off his toe Cause when, he too old if he would've grabbed the thing that bitch would've fell out of his hand so I know he wouldn't never shot none but you don't want that nigga to get lucky <laughs> it's, a, it's a hit of advice if you live in Atlanta Georgia and you go to Dragon Gun Try not to go outside of Dragon Con to go buy something. Because apparently, when you out of that like era, out of that area, where all the nerddom is like so strong and everything, all cool and shit, people don't even know Dragon Con exists. Me and, well, I walked to the Waffle House, and everybody was taking pictures of me. Like, niggas, y'all don't know what's Dragon Con? What's fuck wrong with y'all niggas? Y'all don't know hey, shit. <laughs> what's and what did I tell you? We walked into a black Waffle House while I got on a goddamn Fallout costume. You would have you would have thought I took a shit on the floor. How, how quiet everybody got when I walked in there. You know, we got to make a spectacle of your ass. Look at this nigga dressed up. It ain't even Halloween. <laughs> and he said the same exact word. Like, the fuck this punk ass nigga got on? Really, bro. Whatever, <laughs> your, <laughs> whatever your wife can handle. <coughs> bitch ass all right, So nigga. that's all over, bitch. Moving on, we get the Dragon Con. Uh, uh, I want to say something. Hey, Brandon. What I tell you, what I tell you the PBC fam, they see me and Jamal in the Dragon Con line. No, nah, they see us dress up in Dragon Con until we take the mask off. What's it? You don't remember what I told the motherfucker we saying? I bet it. Hey, love that nigga easy. And to me and Jamal take the mask off, like, hold up, man. Man, I ain't know y'all niggas into this. Shit, man, I picked the wrong people. Said, well, don't get your ass choke slam and throw it into a car. Oh, yeah, you caught you. Oh, motherfucker. Hey, hey, well, hey, look, when we be standing in line, y'all need to see the people looking at me and Jamal like, oh, no. Ooh, They're not no, supposed no, to be no. a dragon cut. Oh, no, no. These guys are trying to steal somebody's badge. But the, 90, but the 97 year old man in the back dressed as goddamn Harry Potter. Oh, he belongs here. Oh, yeah, really? me, me and Jim. Oh, no, 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 no. Where'd you niggas get this badge? Y'all don't know nothing about this. <laughs> but, but moving on, because Jermaine just kind of rambling on. So, um, my costume was, um, Panda Steve. I always go as a panda every year. I've been a lot of panda things. You know, Jermaine's costume is normally better because everybody's sucking on his teats when they see I his costume. I apologize because I got six of them. Yeah. He. 
He'd be strong. He'd be flexing hard. So I was Panda Steve from Stranger Things. I even had Stranger a Panda Things. Steve, a Panda Steve name tag and patches and shit. I was all cool. You got to see my skinny legs, which you never see a nigga in a pair of shorts. So Merry Christmas early. And Jermaine <laughs> had on an epic cock. Tanya was um, Dora the Explorer, the grown-up yes, version, uh, yes, 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 which yes, was yes. dope. Nobody took any pictures with her this year. Damn shame. But we're going to get to that, too. They ain't looking at her so, like she A lot of people knew who she was, shirt. but they were like, okay. They just kept moving. And Jermaine, what was your costume, Jermaine? My costume was Michael Jackson, Predator. I went from slaying in the woods to dancing in the place I could. There you go. I, I took a little. <laughs> I took a little bit, but that wasn't like amazing. Enough. That shit didn't blow my mind. I was like, oh, okay. You gonna on. wait until that shit catch up with you like the Matrix, nigga? Yeah, I'm still waiting on that shit. All right, so yeah, yeah that yeah, was yeah. Michael Jackson, Predator, and yeah, you, yeah. I look pretty dope. I think I was pretty dope. I had to fucking improvise because apparently I ordered some shit that just came through the mail yesterday that posted me here on the 28th. And I had to fucking do some improvising. But I think I did okay. He did a damn fine Hey, Brandon, that package came to me yesterday. Did it? Oh, man. I ain't, I was so mad. I ain't even want to look at it. I ain't even seen the day. I was so goddamn mad with it. I, was like, I ain't got time for these niggas to ruin my night again. <laughs> All right. So Saturday, the Dragon Con come up. And we're hanging out. We're partying. We finally meet Brandon. And we hit a couple of panels. And it was people just made them super hard for some reason. We go to what, what was the first? What was the first panel? That wasn't a uh, live interaction one, was it? Improv. Uh, yeah, I think no, it no. Was, we went to the questionnaire panel, the oh. Jeopardy or whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah, going. yeah. That's right. Yeah, that one was pretty fun. Yeah, the literature Jeopardy or something. Yeah, that was so you like that, dude. I said I thought it was about movies, dude. This is literature, like bitch. <laughs> You know we only read half the goddamn half for the title. You we already know go white man got to throw words at you like literature. It ain't reading, it's literature. Shut <laughs> up before I hit you in the face. I've actually got like five questions right. Jermaine got four. Just kidding. He got like two. Brandon got yeah, like, I got like one and, and one quarter. Dusty. Goddamn um, Sawyer got like a bunch of them. I was surprised when I got one of them. Oh, shit. You actually knew that. Yeah, black man actually knew a question, nigga. How about that shit, huh? All right, <laughs> moving like, on. So we go, go to an improv. So we way. go to an improv panel. Brandon and Jermaine explain the doom and the gloom and death of this. Well, Jermaine just walked away. So Brandon, explain this improv conversation. Man, so we go to this panel and they they have some characters made up and so uh they ask one of the audience members uh they're supposed to be like making a sci-fi movie or something and they ask for a plot and this motherfucker comes out with space hitler in a mech suit that's mining jupiter for gas and I mean, honestly, where are you supposed to go from there? Luckily, they never really did touch on that, you know. But then people came up and, like, asked them stupid questions to improv off of. It was it was bad. I mean, the crowd didn't give them much to work with, but their characters weren't really all that compelling. Yeah, and I don't know, it just kind of, it just fell pretty flat, you know. Jermaine was clowning on him, which was hilarious. I didn't give a shit. I didn't want to hear it. I just didn't want, you know, if somebody around us was trying to listen to it, you know, I didn't want to hear it. Yeah, they, they were struggling hard, boy. They was in the weight room getting that five-pound weight. And that shit was breaking their poor little arm, boy. They were struggling. <laughs> yeah. They had a couple of funny parts, mm-hmm. but after, like you said, the dude went up there with the Hitler shit, you can't do I, I, I would have been like, you know what? Next. Right. Yeah, I'd have been like, nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. Goddamn Weenie we come up here with some damn Hitler shit off the back. What? Yeah. Can was... you think of can you be outside of the box? 
Yeah. Did you just was... not play goddamn um damn? What what's the name of the game we played ahead of the guy that got Hitler in and all that shit? What the fuck? What? Oh, uh, Wolfenstein. Yeah. Did you just play Wolfenstein? That's the only scenario you can pop out of your ass. Hitler still being alive. We should have no more Hitler still being alive scenario. Scenario. He might still be. A, he might be a. But go ahead, Brandon. Stuck in Mars. Go ahead, Brandon. Uh, no, that was it. They were kind of whack. Um, yeah, that really. shit was whack. We didn't even goddamn um. You, this shit funny. That panel won't be there next year. <laughs> <laughs> You guys got to work on your crowd patrol. It was terrible. Yeah. You know what, though, B? Yes. You miss. You miss. You actually missed the awesome uh, that fam that fam section we was in. Oh yeah, that shit was dope. You missed when a good one. Sunday, we actually got in line early, and one of the girls, one of the films from the girl, the girl from Farscape. I can't remember the girl with the blue skin, not the plant one, the other one. She had like the one with the white hair. I can't. We haven't ever seen Farscape in forever. But yeah, that was actually pretty dope. Yeah, actually and you know what's funny? We, we, well, we you know what we were standing at last time. We was about eight people ahead, and we got our old happy sassy ass right on in there. Oh yeah, you believe that shit? Yeah. yeah. So we got in. Oh, we don't got enough room for eight more. I like what the fuck? <laughs> well, yeah, we got in. Damn fine movies we got to watch too. Let's get. Let's jump back to um Saturday right quick. So, you know, Tanya wanted to go see the um, orchestra. Oh, I don't yeah. remember who the orchestra was. Oh, yeah, it was Atlanta was... Philharmonic. The Philharmonics. I just want to, you know, Dragon Con, I'm going to give you a good, I'm going to give you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. You know, while you had this little candy-ass girl sitting here, hey, where's the line star? Oh, we'll start right there by that exit sign. So me, Jermaine, Brandon, and Tanya. We we like damn. We finna watch Philharmonica, but we finna get down. We finna watch an orchestra for two hours for motherfucking well, an hour for motherfucking free. So we walk up to the exit sign. White lady, look at us. Yeah, the line started right here, but it started back there. Brandon, this is when you know. This is when you know. Brandon, Jamar, Tony, and Jermaine had done fucked up. They didn't fucked even know what was really up. going on. So nope. go up the stairs. Oh, hey guys. You in for the hill, Phil Harmonica? The line stars up there. We hey, walking on some folks. more stairs. Yeah. Hey, guy. Where's the Phil Harmonica at? Oh, that line stars out. So we walk out of dough. Hey, you know, you niggas, <laughs> when the niggas the start dough, walking out, not when just the nigga walk out of dough of a dough. hotel, you know shit fucked up, right? The yeah. front dough. Yeah. So, you know, we cool with it. We like, all right, you know, maybe it start right here. We bust a corner. Oh, yeah, the line started back there. <laughs> Hold on, the line end back there. Me and Jermaine and Brandon look like, Brandon said, look here, bro. But under, under B's discretion, he did not pass the car. I do not pass this police car. <laughs> and Brandon was like, no, nah, bro, y'all might do this shit by yourself. <laughs> this goddamn Phil, the Phil Harmonica, whatever the fuck their name is, this shit was around the block. Who is the person who still recognized the line once you leave the hotel? <laughs> Brownie, I, I was still. Oh, you on the motherfucking there. honor system? Like, what, what do we? You know, you, you got homeless Joe back there. Hey, what are we standing in line for? Free cheese, I heard. Y'all right by my house. <laughs> <laughs> wine and cheese, fool. Yeah, no, nah, that's white people shit. White people ask for wine and cheese. The black motherfucker gonna say. I want cheese, burger, and some money. Both of them. This motherfucking line was outrageous. So we had to give up on the goddamn field harmonica. I would have. I just want. I just want to know what happened when you start collecting. The, I mean, when you the last nigga at the end of the line, and you done waited your whole day. And <laughs> well, no, brother, you can't come in here. We're full. We're we're packed to the max. Man, huh? you gonna be you gonna be throwing me out of here. Y'all niggas better let me stand up in there. All this stand up <laughs> I've been doing now. Man. <laughs> we was an hour early. Man. I do not go to Dragon Con and stand in line for three hours. I waste half the day that I could have been drinking yep. and taking pictures. Yep. Sit goddamn line. Hey, yep. we should have the pit. We should have a pit style fighting fest. 
If you survive, <laughs> you move forward. You know what I mean? The last thing you want to do would be they're trying to have a pit fight. They carry real weapons. These niggas it been practicing for so a lifetime. Gun, whatever you want to use. Mm-hmm. If you want, we, if we got 300 people, we on them. Get in the ring. One, two men in and one man out. If you win, <laughs> baby, that means you want to see it real bad. Fair oh, enough. Brandon, mm-hmm. in the midst of all this huh? shenanigans and dumb shit he talking, what is it with white folks and free stuff? Yeah, like I was saying, you sound like a robot hush up. But what and you, you saying, do Brandon? That's a good idea. Uh, I'm down with pit fighting. I'd love to see that, Brandon. Yeah, you. We got three hundred people in line. Only one hundred and fifty want to see Robert England. That's all you. That's this your only time you get to see Robert England. Either you live, I mean, either you leave or you fight. Nigga, you finna die to see Robert England, nigga. Like you finna die. These motherfuckers are serious about this shit. You want to go in there and whoop some ass? It's about the people who are actually serious. And the motherfuckers will be like, no, nah, bro, it ain't that serious. The, the I can see Robert dudes, Angel on TV or YouTube. The only dudes you'd really have to worry about are is like the Spartan Legion guys. Because those, all those motherfuckers are ripped. So if you run into one of those guys, you might be in trouble. Everybody half else, though. T- half of the time, be the motherfucker be motherfucking punks. Niggas ain't want, they don't want no beef. <laughs> <laughs> Them scary motherfucker to run through a brick wall. You slap them hard enough. <laughs> I done seen it, man. I was like, this nigga scared me. He had been slapped by a little nigga. This nigga, you a sway with president when he disappeared. I was like, where'd he go? The camouflage somewhere. <laughs> Serious shit. Jamar. Jamar punked out a big ass nigga. That nigga, he had to be about 25. We worked at Phil's Arena. I said, man, I told, oh, I told yeah. my homeboy, I was like, man. I'm going to slap the shit out your motherfucker. Yeah, nigga, run up. He turned around. That about motherfucker that was shit. in there crying. He looked at me, be out like that, bro. B, no flex, no bullshit. This nigga had me about 6'2". Jamal ass, Jamal. Told that <laughs> nigga that shit. I had, I was like, up. Oh, I guess I guess we're about to get five. I'm here hit this nigga across the head with this chair. I told my <laughs> uncle, it's, it's a it's a win. If you fight two brothers, even if they don't like each other, it's a win win situation for them. Man, yeah. Brent, he went back there, looked at me, and I seen that tear come out his eye. I thought he was an Indian on television when the white hole <laughs> left all that trash. <laughs> 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 I was like this monkey ass nigga. <laughs> I used to look at that nigga like I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to shoot this nigga if anything ever pop off. <laughs> and when Jamal got off in that ass, and I was like, I had I had I was sitting on that chair looking at him like this. Yeah, guess he about to get fired. <laughs> that nigga went in there and I went in there and stared him down and he was crying. I said, man, nigga. You been scaring niggas all what? your life, nigga. You ain't gonna do it all your side jabber. This is not side jabber Tuesday. Side jabber Wednesday. Side, j- side, side jabber, jabber shit funny, but B, come on, B. Look, this nigga 6'2", and he was a... I'm gonna call him what the ladies call it, beefcake. This nigga was doing... Washing his clothes on his abs. But damn, this nigga was soft. <laughs> all right. Fair enough. Well, I mean, like I a... I just need to the flick. Yeah. Plus, you know, the Spartans do got spears, I think. That so. is true, too. You might meet that one motherfucker who think he a real Spartan to kick you. <laughs> right. Break your sternum. <laughs> You'll crack a real cage. He's like, damn, bro, I feel to walk out of line. You have to die. <laughs> Robert England is mine. No, you can have him. Just got that sad real. Wrong Naruto, motherfucker, and do the five fucking touch of death on his ass. <laughs> damn. They, they ain't got the motor skill for that shit. Catch up with Sanger. They been practicing in real life this shit. And this nigga gonna, this whole Spartan about to explode in the ring because he felt like this little nigga wasn't gonna do shit. I Thank did see well, a couple of All in all of this whole conversation, we were talking about letting people fight to the death for Dragon Con. I can't <laughs> believe you, Brandon. Every, every, every week you find a way to take this show down two notches. <laughs> We're going to be barbaric animals in the goddamn next 
Next but you just week. said you're going to leave two people lasting like y'all been getting hey, y'all ass whooped on all. If you last that long, you're the most important person in the world at that moment. And you get to, re- and you get to meet your idol by yourself. The I'm motherfucker feel hard money and if just let two niggas in there listen to no shit. I'm just letting you know. After they get done whooping everybody no, ass, YouTube, YouTube viewers, you can boot. I can't even goddamn tell how many YouTube viewers you can get by watching 150 people battle to the death. We yeah. are. Yeah. That shit was amazing. <laughs> I've never seen it. I didn't want to read the subtitles. That just so, okay. You want to goddamn put a bunch of high school kids. Hey, niggas. Only one can walk out. What? What? You know, that had to be the. We'll have that conversation later. But so, what happened Sunday when I wasn't there? Oh my bad. Um, what did we do? Well, I was talking to shit and I phased out. Yeah, I think yes. you did, brother. You phased the fuck out. Matrix, no oatmeal here. Okay, go ahead. We um, uh, uh, what do we do? Woke up that morning. Jamal cooked breakfast like he always do. He's a breakfast. Breakfast tastes like shit too, boy. I, I, that shit was terrible that morning. <laughs> that, that that hangover like wow, boy. The eggs gonna be hard. Them sausages gonna be burnt. <laughs> you know them biscuits gonna be on point if I do make them though. Oh yeah, them biscuits was on point. Nigga popped them right out the out the motherfucking can and throw some honey on. I was like, damn, Pillsbury make a good biscuit. Like fresh honey too with a clove in it. That shit changed your mind. In your yeah, life. No, nigga ain't had no clove on. <laughs> Fuck on. You better spend money on clothes, on biscuits. You done fucked up. But back to what so, we did. Went down. Uh, where do we go yeah. first? Only you know. We, I went to work. Yeah. That's right. You went to work. Uh, we went. Oh, we always do our daily routine of Dragon Con. You gonna remember this? First thing we do is go to the Sheraton, everybody pee, gather our thoughts, and then figure out where we going from there. Catch some That's legionnaires. That's our daily seven, six, six to seven year routine at Dragon Con, bro. Every time, and I don't know why we always do it. Oh, our routine is we go watch those people play that stupid werewolf game. We've watched them no, like. Sir. Eight years in a row. Ever since we first found it, every year we go down there and watch them play a game, and it's always weird. Yeah, we're gonna get on that whole weird point real soon, real, real soon. So Jermaine was right. We did all of that stuff that he said that we was doing because at the current <laughs> point in time, I cannot remember. Oh yeah, we were doing a share our share to run. You park your car, you pee. You get your bearings and then you walk out and take pictures. Yeah. yeah. All of them, all for one, two, three, four, five, all that shit happens. So we walk around, have a good time, we party. We go to a, another panel, which was the film panel. Got to watch five great movies for an hour and 15 minutes, I want to say. What was it? That was kind of it felt short. Not really. So that was that was, and the girl I thought was a boy. She was there, but I think she's transitioning. Yeah, good for her. You talking about the one that was in line? The one that was holding the line together. Oh, hey, could you guys keep the line together? What, man? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I thought it was a dude. Was. Well, Brandon was said I was wrong. Jermaine said I was wrong, and Tony said I was wrong. So I was wrong. Okay. I mean, I don't think her costume should have been a pirate, but you know, <laughs> she wasn't a pirate two days in a row, bro. Because <laughs> she still had that same like whatever that was going around her chin situation. She, she, it looked like she was going for one of them H- Hogan beers because that motherfucker was <laughs> thick and wide. Well, she won't have it two days in a row. She had it with her Princess Mononoke costume. We all seen Princess Mononoke. Uh, she ain't had okay, no much. She lacked a beard, sir. Yeah, Prince of Did she not never had no lack a beard, Brandon? No. And then next day she was like some other Viking or something. I was like, damn, you still got that same makeup on from yesterday? <laughs> was it makeup? No, I don't think it was makeup. I just don't get it. I try to. I'm you not even to get too into much it. privilege. 
Sunday is one of my favorite days to go because you see a bunch of nerd desperation as the day goes on from motherfuckers who ain't hooked up Friday or Saturday, you know, so everybody's out there throwing Hail Marys. They just be giving yeah. donuts. They be giving cookies. <laughs> you go to LSD. Some of those. Get in some of those dances. Still weed, Patty. Only at Dragon Con. Go ahead, yeah. Brandon. I was saying you go to some of those dances Sunday night, and you'll see some, see some awkward nerd hookups. It's hilarious. You don't really want to take a lot of shit from nerds, but yeah. niggas in Dragon Con be giving out everything that you could possibly need in your time of moment. But they're supplied as fuck, and they're giving out. And some of this shit's good shit. I mean, I'm not gonna eat any food no white man give me, but you know, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna spend, I'm, I'm gonna spend four hundred dollar worth of cupcake and pass them out to everybody at Dragon Con and not even get a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I be mad as hell. I pull the strap out on one of them niggas throwing <laughs> in the garbage can. Oh, your dance. hotel room, five hundred dollars for the cupcake. <laughs> Probably got they have another eighty dollar to get them cupcakes shipped to you, take it to your room, and you have to keep walking up and down the steps and you're calling it your exercise program where you get these cupcakes out of passing around all these people. Hey Brandon, and nigga, you don't even get nasty. nasty. If yeah, I pass I out more than two cupcakes, I'm supposed to get laid that night. I'm just putting that shit out there. I mean four hundred dollars worth of cupcakes, I'm fucking somebody. <laughs> they giving away cupcakes like three, four fucking days. Where the fuck do you even store that many cupcakes? Man, I don't trust <laughs> these people. I ain't eating that shit. Well, you nigga. know, he got like 40 degrees in his room. It ain't no girl <laughs> coming in there, so the cupcakes are all nice and cold and you shit. You might be right, but he need to, he, before he bust that seal, I need to be the one to bust that seal. These are for my fans. Huh, Who, really, nigga. You thank think? you, nigga. Thanks, cupcake dude. That Thanks, is the one man. thing about you know Dragon me? Con is everybody really. is always super nice. For the most part, I don't know. I, ain't, I don't think I've ever seen like one fight at Dragon Con. Yeah, I, hey, bro, I'm telling you, bro. I gave this scenario to my cousin. She think I'm crazy. I said, when white folk have shit, you don't never have no problem. They can drink all day, smoke. Hey, look, walk up and down the street with their guns, and don't nobody say shit. And yeah. look, don't yeah, nobody true. have no fight. Everybody having a good time. I love white events. But if you go to a nigga event, tell them what happened, Jamal. What well, happened if you step on a nigga in jail? Shot or beaten. It's the murder, death, kill of a goddamn black barbecue. <laughs> Stab, death, shot or whatever the hell I just said. A what happened ago. It ain't going to work Drop a cup of Coca-Cola land on a white nigga t-shirt. <laughs> oh, that's all cool, dude. I was at the end the room. You know what I mean? Motherfucker knocked my bill over one year. Man, let me buy you two more. I'm like, what? Nigga, yes. Love white folks, Yes, man. I'll take those two bills. And appreciate for a white man for buying us two bills at Dragon. He bought us four. I can't believe this shit blowed my mind. Cracker spent $80 on some Mai Tais that were off the chain. My nigga, appreciate it, Brandon. Back to you, Jermaine. Yeah, no problem. My ties are no delicious. $80, but I will congratulate Brandon for having found the delicious my ties I ever had in my motherfucking life. Yeah, my ties are great. I can't believe y'all ain't had no Trader Vic's my ties. Man, those motherfuckers will get you drunk. Woo, it's get been you drunk. so long that, you know, we only go there when you there. Yeah. You don't notice that. We only met up with you. Every time I meet you, and you're, that's when we go there when you there. That's it. Yeah. And I bought a my tie one year. But D motherfucker, whoever made D my ties here at Trader Vix, you are the bomb. Right yeah. then. Holla at us. We'll folks. give you a shout out. Yeah. It's the same folks every year. And I get hammered drunk off of them every year. Mm. Oh, yeah, boy. Please write the fuck in. We need you. We want you. Mm. We will woo the goddamn shit face. So I wasn't After shit watching face. the film festival Sunday, we get to meet up with our favorite friends in the world. Robot to go. Girl, because you a lot of a lot of people were leaving because of the storm. So thank you, Doreen. <laughs> Doreen. That's a bitch named next door. It was Dorian. <laughs> uh, I guess. 
So Dorian, whatever. He ain't got cable, y'all. So he don't know what's going <laughs> got, on in I gotta movie. catch everything up on my cellular phone. Man, it's a flip phone. It takes oh, it's a, it's a cellular device. A cellular device. It's gonna give me cancer. Can you believe this? <laughs> but we gotta meet up with our great friend the Wexler, Patricia and David Wexler. Brandon yeah. Hugger got one of them last year. Goddamn Limoncello. Limoncello will motherfucking mind. Damn fine Limoncello they made this year, too. Yeah, it wasn't as strong. <laughs> yeah, you was, you was assed out we, last year. Man, oh, man, look, I'll give y'all my, uh, I'll give y'all my quick Dragon Con story from last year. So apparently Jermaine didn't eat enough, so he goes to the Wexlers, who are avid drinkers and everything else and under the sun. So they give me two, they give me two lemon cellos. I got three jello shots and I had like two beers. Everybody else went out. I went in the bathroom and peeked my guts out. And no, when no, they no. came you, back, I was you in your their guts closet because of that sleep. little shot they gave you, which I don't know the fuck, like an Irish car bomb with yeah. two other things in it. Well, that shit he, turned me sideways. That, that, that goddamn room had to be like like twenty nine degrees, sweating and shit. I'm like, God damn, bro! I can't understand it. Hey, bro, I was looking at y'all like, bro, am I? Why am I the only nigga here sweating? It? And this is my mouth, like, fuck, Brandon ain't sweating. These two white motherfuckers ain't sweating. Jamal, Tanya, good man. That shit just pouring down, and y'all ain't even looking at me. I'm like, that, bro, what the fuck? Are we looking at you? We just trying to hope you don't die in the corner while we still in the room. Man, you would have thought I was. You would have thought that I was shit. a nigga chicken coop or something. Where I was sweating so goddamn hard. And when y'all left, man, it was freedom. I could throw up. When y'all came back and I was sleeping in the claws, I was like, this shit, this shit's a wrap. Jamal, oh, time to go. Yeah. He had to walk up the street with his goddamn Halo costume flipping everywhere. Yeah. I his paid kneecap was on the back of his leg. Seven hundred dollars on back. Plastic shit, man. That shit was scuffing up my shins and shit when I was walking to the car. I thought I was never gonna get in the fucking time your car. <laughs> oh, you should. Hey, Brandon. I said, damn, this shit look cool, but damn, this shit's annoying. <laughs> oh yeah, he actually went to sleep in that shit. So drunk. And I just get with a bed, and that's it's right there. All right, I'll take all uh, this shit off in the morning. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was hurting like a motherfucker. Hey, hang out with the big dog. We love Patricia and David Wexler, that great goddamn fine white American. I don't say that often, but there's some fine white Americans, boy. <laughs> they make me want to pull One my pistol out and just shoot a white man. Bang! That's for the Wexlers. <laughs> Well, let's love, break down Dragon Con while well, we got a little time left. 85,000 people, Brandon? I don't think so, but maybe a lot of people left because of the storm, too. Goddamn Doreen. <laughs> there you go again. Who is it? I've never met her. Doreen. Well, stop giving storms names. This is a motherfucking massive beast that's about to destroy half of the Bahamas. Let's call her Christine. Nigga, you worried about giving it a name that destroyed half a goddamn the Bahama? Christine <laughs> is coming in at a cat sit to kill everybody. I thought of Christine. Hey, Brandon, can What's I ask up? you a question? Because you will know this. Because we need some white explaining. All right. Are you listening? Yes. Does the fact that you named the hurricane give you some reason to have some clout? Um, no. I'm pretty sure it's a Hall of Fame of people. He named yeah. Kevin. And he killed many of the people. Like, if your, you don't if think your, so, your you tornado don't think got the most kills, you, you legendary, he named Michael. Really, nigga. Dude, you're, let's just say you ain't getting laid off lay, naming a fucking hurricane. Well, you ain't getting laid yeah. outside like, of work. Inside of work, you get laid. Like, inside work, not outside. Like, I, I bet you, I bet you'd be mad if you, if you, if you were fucking hurricane Andrew. Like, she hates you forever, nigga. Like, you did that. 
I mean, you know, if I met him in a bar, that would be mildly interesting. It wouldn't be interesting enough for me to buy him a beer. It'd be interesting yeah. enough for me to listen to him talk for <laughs> maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. Hey, Marine, know what I would have told him? <gasps> nigga, you ain't even made history, but try again. Get this <laughs> nigga up here. He, he, he chasing. He looking for some fame he ain't gonna never get. Give him two bills. Don't get him, don't get him a real beer. Get him that mop wood in the back. He's a fool. He'll yeah. drink anything. <laughs> well, wise. But back to Dragon Con. 85,000 people. I don't know. Maybe a lot of people. But you know what I feel like? Maybe a lot of people left what I was trying to say. But you know what I feel like, Brandon Jermaine? I feel like it was a lot of posers at Dragon Con this year. Do you, do you, did you feel that a little bit? Oh, I don't know. I didn't catch of, that vibe. A lot of lazy costume motherfuckers. A lot of old people who just got a ta- who just got a tag on. What is it? It's on your bucket list. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, one dude actually dressed old dude dressed up as a Krispy Kreme worker. I was like, I'm confused. Are you still working there? Are you not working there? You know, ain't no- he just had the hat on and the whole white suit. That's the cheapest costume I've ever seen him. Mm. Child like. I put on a suit. I'm wearing to my. I put on my white suit. I'm gonna wear it to my funeral. Shit, throw a Chick Fil A hat on. I'm a Chick Fil A worker. Well, one day that'll be us, sir. We'll be the old motherfuckers in the con. Yeah. I do not want to be the old guy. So let's get ready to break it down. So we're gonna do our dragon scale con. So Brandon, Jermaine, and myself, mm-hmm. dragon scale con. But One to ten. It. Ten being the greatest. Ten gonna, being the greatest. I'm going to give it a solid seven. Yeah. It wasn't the greatest one I've been to, but it was pretty good. Dragon cut scale. Yeah. i give it a solid seven. Uh, for me, you want to know what's funny? The first one you took, you invited to, and the second one. Best dragon cons I've fucking been to. But this one here. I'll give it a sly and a slick 7.8. A dragon con scale. Okay. I like it. More? It kind of picked up like after like 10 o'clock. They weren't even checking badges on Sunday, but when it got dark, nigga, where is your badge spelled like Y-O-B-A? You know what I mean? Right. Black. For real, like we just walking in out of the hotel. Ain't nobody say shit till it got dark. Are you really trying to catch everybody sneaking in the hotel? Yes. <laughs> what about you? Did you hear Mom? that? That white man over there laughing. He hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the people didn't hear me. No black people are watching badges during the day, but at nighttime, they only like Black Panther alone. Get on right. Something or something to sort. So I'm gonna give yeah. Dragon Con a. I give it a six point five. Costumes weren't that great. People weren't that into the Dragon Con. A lot of poses. A lot of people walking around with sandals, doing nothing, just watching other people. I seen like a like ten Indian families down there, like, oh my god, look at all the costumes. As he walking away with his polo shirt and sandals on. What are you? Azazaria, what that nigga, what the dude name is. <laughs> <laughs> and Siri? I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this. This isn't eh. let's get back on the road. Well I'm just saying I seen a lot of crazy people at Dragon who weren't supposed to be there. It ain't uh, like the creepy people. It's always the people you oh you're in a suit and you got a badge. The fuck are you really doing here? And, and you ain't the, going to the agent skull or Muller. Muller's just <laughs> posing, trying to pick up some nerd hotties. That's about it. A lot of poses. So there we go on that note. So 6.5, you got a 7 and a 7.8. Dragon Con was not bad. You know what? I'll take it down to a 7.6. No, I'll take it down to a 7.4. You remind me about all those sandals and open toes I didn't want to see. Ah! It fucked me up. I don't know. After 12 straight years, Dragon Con's really going to have to pull out some stops to show me something I haven't seen. So, I mean, like, mine isn't like an indication that it was bad it was just it was good it was solid yeah i, I feel like we it. had to wait long in lines for everything motherfucking uh, well, batman panel across the street <laughs> Fifteen thousand more people fool yeah 
goddamn Ninja Turtle guy. They all oh, they start on the street, bitch. What? Why <laughs> are we starting panels in the middle of the street? <laughs> Why can't we start them in a the hotel? You sons of bitches. Just putting it out there. Fair enough. We got we got hammered. We got trash. We laughed at people who was in drag. We even had our costumes on this year. And we had six my ties, thanks to one white man and his checkbook. Thank you again, <laughs> Brandon. Yes, we appreciate yes. all that shit. And all the men who was in women clothing, I respect you when you put on full clothing. But when you just putting on a bikini, stop it. Stop it. I want to see a man. I don't want to see Europeans in bikinis. And I definitely want to see a dude dressed as Harley Quinn. And put a cup on, people. Put a cup on. <laughs> if I can see your dick print, everybody can see your dick print. And some of you motherfuckers are not that impressive to be showing your dick print. Man, I'm just true that. Put a fucking cup on, please. Please do, nigga. Nobody wants to see your beanie weenies or your pig knuckles. You let your Nobody. girlfriend tell you, oh, you look fine. Bitch, you can see my... <laughs> You can see yeah. my nutsack. The <laughs> fucking yellow look fine. I can't go. <laughs> I yeah. be looking at something doing like that, hey, bro. You know, you don't. You, you you done at least assaulted fifty little girls in here with this costume on, <laughs> nigga. Put a cup on. You going to jail? Yeah. But you don't know it. But you going to jail? Or get a dancer's girdle or something. I forget what the fuck they call it. Sawyer said something about it. But yeah, cover your cover your junk. Yeah. Cover your junk. True. Well, let's get ready to wrap it on up since Brandon said you're ready to go. This has been the Tokyo Black Dragon Con post Dragon Con podcast. If you'd like to follow us on Facebook, Tokyo Black Hour. Instagram, Tokyo Black Hour. And you can call us. I don't have the number right now, but your main what would you like to tell the people? I would like to tell the people I appreciate all y'all coming back out and listening to our podcast rant. And thank you, motherfuckers, for being loyal followers. And one day, maybe sooner than later, maybe we can do something special for you. So call in, write in. Don't forget to go shop and buy all of your Tokyo Black apparel at TokyoBlackWorld.com. Support you, your boys and your favorite fucking twins. And come listen to more fucking podcasts. But like between me, Jamal, and um, B Rock, we got an unlimited supply of fucking apple slices and motherfucking caramel droppings. Just saying, cuz B Rock. What's up? Longest outro I ever heard in my life. That shit took like two days to get through. You shouldn't have been listening. I was getting older. I was getting older while while he was talking. So now I look like goddamn Clint Eastwood at the house right now. There. Fuck, stealing my thunder. Yeah. All the way gone. <laughs> What's up, your boy B Rock, the white liaison? Uh, you can call in to 470 387 1942. You can also write in to Tokyo Black Hour at gmail.com. Uh, check out the YouTube channel. Uh, Check Dusty out at Dusty is Certifiable on the gram and check out his show every Saturday morning at every Saturday morning dot fun. You can also check out Christian Terry's books at uh anywhere books are sold. Seven lives, ten lives. Go <laughs> bomb. My man. All right, man, we out, man. Peace. Peace. Hold down, people.